I was out walking downtown, and it was so exciting. I had to come down to the basement to process the beauty. Does Oshkosh make other people just want to say poetry outside on the sidewalk, do you think? Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Sandy. And here we're in for some more archive dives. Splash. This is a show where we take a look at different uh, collections inside the Oshkosh Public Library that are hidden in plain sight, or in this case, sometimes in the basement where you're not allowed to see. I'm taking a look at the collection of poetry by uh, local poet Robert Katcher. What if it's Robert Katcher? Katcher. He, he has <laughs> since passed away, so if anybody actually knows how to pronounce his last name, please come up and tell me the right, right words, because I'm going to say it. Catcher for the rest of this episode. Want to know how I found out about this? We had a nice person come up to the reference desk and ask a question that went something like this. There was a guy who read poetry at that coffee shop, you know, maybe back sometime. Do you have his poems? That sounds like a classic library question. That's exactly what a lot of those questions Mm -hmm. sound like. Guess what? We do have his poetry. His name was Robert Catcher. He was born and raised in Menasha, uh, but lived a long time in Oshkosh. And he was kind of very much known as a local poet. They wrote about him in the paper. And he said he would just kind of like walk around town and think of him being inspired to write poetry. He published a number of uh, books, dozen or so. I would say street poet because he literally walked down the street and thought about poetry. But I was amazed that, hey, we had this gentleman, this local uh, poet, possibly forgotten otherwise, but we have his you know, poetry that lives on and is accessible for the community in perpetuity in our local history collection. It's actually really, really good. He was a pretty impressive poet. To a sea looking in at me, rolling my mottled eye up through the black hand of the oak in whose grasp lies succumb and beam. When a legend fails to die and the leaves, my remains at cliff to bully the wind and its lisp of anonymous need for the girl of the swampside moss, trailing her full scap locks through the morrow of the green sun and the last spring leaves. I want to meet this guy. Uh, He passed away in 2001, so it's what the library is for, is preserving some of the history of your community. Thanks, now. Splash.